Welcome back, Lumberjacks. Bring on the Aggies. We're back at it again, and we're here taking on Texas A&M, the rematch from last season's Cotton Bowl. They, they put a whooping on us last season. We were able to score a couple touchdowns late and make it look close, but really it was a butt whooping. So let's jump right into the scouting process. Byron Barclay, AKA Kevin Sumlin. They run the air raid. They're looking to run the ball and be aggressive. So they're no huddle. And then defensively, they run the four, three. They're looking to defend the run and they're looking to be more aggressive. So they'll be bringing blitzes constantly. That was an issue with the game against them last season is not only did they score early, we could not run the ball, which is how we win games. That's that's our offense. We have to be able to run the ball to get out of way in, in rhythm, but also to use our best player on offense, which is Gus Johnson. We have to be able to utilize him as much as possible. Texas A&M still has Johnny Menzel. He was a sophomore. He could have uh, he could have declared for the draft, but he stayed another season, which is bad news for us. He's a 99 overall, and then they have a 96 speed. 97 excel running back with 83 broken tackle they don't have mike evans anymore at least but they still have four wide receivers that are gonna be seeing a lot of playing at the time because they play the spread they have four wide receivers with over 90 speed um all of them have good excel they have a good tight end their left tackle is injured but their backup is an 83 overall left guard and their backup left guard okay so their offensive line is absolutely loaded with talent they run the 4-3 so defensively they have a good starter at left end and right in and they have depth behind that and then defensive tackle they are deep at defensive tackle as well linebacker looks like they all have decent overalls and decent speed or good speed cornerbacks that's probably their weakest position so far but they all have 94 speed and almost all of them have 90 excel Jackson has great agility, which makes him, makes him dangerous to throw against, and he's only a sophomore. Free safety, good free safety. Strong safety, good strong safety. So this team is absolutely loaded. Texas A&M has the number eight scoring offense in the country, number six total yardage offense, 59 rushing the ball, and number three passing the ball, which kind of goes against what I just saw in their philosophy, of course. But uh, defensively, 47th in total defense, 6th against the run, 97th against the pass, and then they have a good turnover differential, which is why they are also 3-0. Let's see who they have beat. Texas A&M beat up on Boise State, UTEP, and SMU. So they haven't really played anybody yet, but they're still a really, really solid team. This is going to be a challenge. Game plan, get the running game going. Got to get it going. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. Even though they're dedicated to running, uh, stopping the run, we got to try and run the ball, get that read option going, get Attaway in rhythm with the short passes and the read option. And hopefully we can pull off another huge victory. Here we are back at it again. Let's go. So we're here in College Station. This is the toughest atmosphere we have played in since we played in Ann Arbor last season. This is an environment that we don't really see with Ole Miss or Mississippi State. We would see with LSU, but we haven't played LSU yet. So this is going to be a, a difficult, difficult game for us. Hopefully we don't get rattled. This is when having a senior laden team is very helpful for us. Hopefully those guys aren't able to do a lot of push-ups today. Freaking Johnny Manziel. Parents Coker. <laughs> what a fitting name for that guy. Ugh. All right, here comes Johnny Menzel. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. First and 10, they got the ball at the 25. And Amaretto sticks that guy in the hole, and they have me matched up against the running back. Second and eight, got the ball at the 27 yard line. Oop. And I can't slow him down, and he is down the sideline. It looks like he's gonna get to the 40 yard line. Damn it, I missed the tackle. That's a no bueno. This is not ideal. Oh, and deep pass and an easy completion to the sideline. They got the ball at the 25. They have went from their 25 to our 25 in three plays. And we get Johnny Mantel for a sack. 
Good job. I think that was Maddox. Good job, Maddox. You get a helmet sticker. Third and four. They got the ball at the 20. Easy completion over the middle. Breaks the tackle. First and goal by uh, Julius Jefferson. I'm going to put Darren Robinson in the spy. It's third and goal. Let's see if we could get the stop here. Looks like I manned up on the fullback. And that's a screen pass. And he breaks a tackle. We had him in the open field. He stiff arms that man into another dimension. And they score a touchdown on their opening drive. They made that look so easy. But I think the key is to make sure that they're not comfortable in their defense. Their, uh, their package, their base, 4-3. And they're bringing a blitz already. Let's see if I can get someone open here. Beautiful throw to Bearden. Good job, Attaway. Good accuracy. That's a 20-yard gain. We're to the 45-yard line already. Looks like they're playing a cover two. Looks like they're leaving a man wide open over there. And, B and Attaway way overshoots that pass. It, that was an easy completion. There's no excuse, Attaway. They're leaving Brooks wide open again. And Brooks catches that one. That's a first down. 15 yard gain. And Gus Johnson right up the middle. We have a third and manageable now, thanks to Gus. We're gonna try and run this fullback dive. They have us outmatched up front. See if we could get enough push. We do, Lawson pushes through, gets the first down. We're inside the 10 yard line now. But I'm gonna look for Gus on this on this uh, angle route. And Gus is in, that's a touchdown. This is gonna be a tight football game. Let's go, Lumberjacks. 11 plays, 70 yards, um, well, over three and a half minutes taken off the clock. And I have Darren Robinson in the spy. Okay, good pursuit to the ball there. We had four guys there to, to tackle Jefferson. And a deep shot. Oh, good deflection, Valier. Gotta watch Johnny Manziel. Oh, this is a screen. And I over pursue and I get the first. Híjole. Okay, guys, get him on the ground. Damn, that's two big mistakes by my usering. Chief Cato, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Third and four, they have the ball at the 40, well, 35 yard line. And I miss another tackle. Dude, give me the animation. I need to stop diving and just run into him because that's the only shot. And I don't know what 43 was doing. He's a backup for a reason. So they're back up on the board. They're gonna be up a touchdown again. This is gonna be a, a high scoring sweaty. Second and six, we have the ball at the 32 yard line. They're not playing press. I'm gonna look for Lot across the middle on this drag route. And good throw to Mosley. Good job, Mosley. That, that's to the 45 yard line, 14 yard gain. But it doesn't matter. And 80, oh, Gus breaks a tackle. I was about to start complaining about uh, that poor block by Bearden. My first read is going to be Lot could, could catch. Lot, we're down to the 21 yard line. And Mosley with the easy catch. He breaks a tackle. He's down to the four yard line. Let's go. Let's go, Mosley. Looks like they're uh they're gonna blitz. So our read is that blitzing linebacker on the left side. And Gus, easy touchdown over the middle. That's his second of the game. Let's go, Lumberjacks. So one positive thing, and it's looking good, is we're running the ball really efficiently and really effectively right now. If we're gonna stay in this game, we gotta be able to do that. We get the ball after the half. So as long as our defense can keep them out of the end zone, we still have a shot. Third and five. Come on, let's get some pressure. Come on, guys, get him. Ah, he breaks the tackle from Darren. Ah, this is frustrating. Oh shoot, that was a beautiful throw. And Amaretto with the tackle. All right, I'm manning up on the running back again. We have a quarterback contain. He, oh, and the interception by Jordan Aubrey. Let's go, Jordan. You get a helmet sticker, Bubba. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, beautiful. 
and we're just gonna run this thing out so that's gonna be the end of the first half it's a tie football game here in college station we're running the ball really effectively right now and our defense finally got a stop we got a pick on johnny manzel we have the opportunity to take the lead on this first drive here of course it's gonna be a challenge because texas a m does have talent on defense we just got to keep playing smart attaway is in rhythm let's just complete you know just keep keep completing these short passes taking what they give us gus johnson is having a fantastic game so far let's let's keep it going bros let's keep it going keep chopping wood and as you can see we're winning time of possession they're winning total yardage easily but we did force a turnover so the key is to keep that time of possession dominance up we can't let them get the the ball very much in this second half if we can limit them to two drives that would be great first and ten we got the ball at the 25 this is the first drive of the second half looks like they're playing a man defense a 3-3-5 and we get the block and a beautiful spin move by gus let's go that's a nine yard gain can i get anybody open here let's see they're bringing that safety so bearden hopefully will get open here Oh, and Bearden drops it. Come on, Bearden. What a beautiful throw by Attaway. Híjole. So it's going to be third and one. Damn, dude. That is trash. Let's see if we can. Ooh, dude. They, they get us in the backfield. We're at our own 34. I want to go for it, but that's unrealistic. So I'll punt it. And Darren Robinson. There to make the stop. And I think uh, a cornerback. Oh, Darren Robinson got the, the sack. Helmet sticker. <laughs> Darren Robinson is having an absolute beast season. I didn't think he would do better than last season. But he's he's breaking out, man. That, that dude deserves to be in the NFL. Third and five. They have the ball at the 40 yard, 42 yard line. Oh, and they get... A completion across the middle gain 19 they're in our territory now easy oh and he drops it number seven with the terrible drop Woo, we got lucky there and they're they're gonna kick the field goal and wow he drills that nope but we do have gus come on get the blocks come on gus good job good job gus good blocking by the offensive line there we gain 10 we get the first down attaway has Almost had a perfect game. He had one drop by Bearden. And he had one uh, terrible pass. But otherwise, he's been on fire in this game. Oh, Gus breaks a tackle but can't get much further than that. So we only gain one on first down. Third and five. They're not playing a cover two. So I'm going to look for Mosley here. He's our best route runner. And let's hope they're playing a man defense. It does not look like they are. Oh, what the? Attaway! what was that uh, i jinxed it i said that he had only thrown one bad pass he had to follow it up with uh throwing probably the worst pass i've seen him throw in a while and the, johnny manzel's taking off get him yeah we get the sack that's our third sack of the game let's go good job skyler you get a helmet stick <laughs> starting seven we have not had good luck at covering their uh third down offense they have two running backs back there i'm just gonna play the middle of the field easy completion over to the flats that's a first down we give up another third down conversion and that's the end of the third quarter we're going into the fourth get your fours up let's hope our defense can get a stop here hold them to at least a field goal so we still have a shot to uh to get back into this game we need to keep them out of the end zone though there's no if, ands, or buts about it. We need to keep them out of the end zone. And easy touchdown up the middle. Now they're going to go up 10. It's time for our offense to come alive. Texas a and made great second half adjustments, and they have taken away our, our success. Beautiful throw by Attaway. We're into their territory now. After a 19-yard gain by Bearden. That was a great throw, Attaway. Great throw. Uh, and I get sacked. I'm going to try and look for Boyd. But otherwise, I'm looking for Mosley. Let's see how they cover it. And beautiful throw. And Mosley gets it. 
19 yard gain let's go and then we have guys that are out on uh substitution right now so like mosley's not on the field and that's our best player oh wow what a horrible throw that was or overthrown nice oh fumble ah oh, call timeout Oh, and we get the tackle in the backfield. Okay, good job. So it's gonna be third and sixteen. Let's uh, let's hope our defense can make a stop here. We've been terrible on third down defense in this game, and they have a guy in motion. They're passing for sure. Oh, and he drops it. Oh man, we got bailed out. All right, we still have a shot. <laughs> he ran that man over. Dude, that guy has a family. Possibly. Dude, Gus. Be kind. Be kind, bro. And Mosley with the easy completion. Breaks the tackle. We're down to the three-yard line. We can possibly get that onside kick. And Gus with his third touchdown of the game. Another helmet sticker for Mr. Gus Johnson. And now it all comes down to an onside kick. And they get it. All right, third and three. Come on, defense. We have a wide open guy. Touchdown. And that will be it. So we battled. This was a tough game. We went into hostile territory. Our defense was not able to get the stops when we needed them. In our offense, the, the Texas A&M defensive coordinator did a great job at adjusting to our offense. What was working in the first half did not work in the second, so it threw, it, threw us off our game and you know then our defense couldn't get the the needed stops that we needed to stay in the game but ultimately your offense has to score has to be able to score with uh, Texas A&M and our offense wasn't able to do that we had too many drops we had a, a couple really bad passes by Attaway but for the most part he was on the money in this game and we end up losing this one. Probably the most disappointing thing about this loss is the fact that if we had won, we would have easily been in the top 25 after this game. Now we have to battle our way back in. But Attaway went 20 of 33, and I'm looking forward to seeing how many drops we had. He almost had his 250 yards passing. He had a touchdown, an incompletion, and I think that's his best completion percentage of the season so far. So 60%, that's not bad. We are only sacked once against the defensive line that you know is miles above what we are up front Gus had a decent game obviously they took us out of our game so we weren't able to get him his 20 touches like I typically like but he did have his two rushing touchdowns Attaway added seven for 19 receiving end of things Gus led the way in terms of receptions with eight and he had a touchdown and then Mosley led the way in receiving yardage six for 97 and then look at all these freaking drops Four drops in total by Brown, Foster, Mosley, and Bearden. And it felt like I, I dropped a lot more than that. But, you know, th that was ultimately the dagger that killed our uh, our offense. Blocking into things, nothing. Amaretto led the way in tackles. He had three tackles for loss. Hippolyte, Robinson, Valier, Nelson all had multiple tackles. Tackles for loss, we totaled eight total tackles for loss. Amaretto led the way. In terms of sacks, we had three total, Maddox, Skyler, and Robinson. We had an interception by Jordan Aubrey, which was a fantastic play by him. Deflections, we only had one the entire game. So as you guys can see, our next opponent, we're returning back to Nacogdoches after that tough loss against Texas a and We'll be playing the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. It'll be a competitive, tough game. They are one and three on the, on the season, and we did pummel Louisiana Tech. So hopefully we can return home and get some momentum back after that loss against Texas A&M. Thank you all for watching. I highly appreciate it. I highly appreciate any of you guys that are enjoying this series. Please hit that subscribe, that like, leave me a comment in the comment section. And I'll see y'all next time. Later, Essentials. But I'm going to look for Gus on this, on this uh, angle route. Gus is in, that's a touchdown. This is gonna be a tight football game. Let's go, Lumberjacks. <laughs>